What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about Fortnite and their monetization methods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die line, die line with the boom pal. Every week now switch to a new staff. Two twelves in the back just blew out. So with Fortnite Season 6 coming out and being in full swing now, everybody's really excited for the new content, the new theme of the map, uh, everyone's talking about the new battle pass and the pets feature that was added, and all sorts of cool things that they've done with Season 6, uh, and it just got me thinking you know, a little bit more about the way that Fortnite actually monetizes the game and is, is making ridiculous sums of money literally millions of dollars a month uh maybe even hundreds of thousands if not million dollars on some days uh off of just microtransactions and things that are completely optional things that you don't actually need to pay for uh to play the game you don't need to pay for any sort of money in order to play fortnite you could play it for free you don't even need a subscription to playstation plus or xbox live or anything like that as long as you have a device that can run Fortnite, uh, you can play it. And, you know, that's interesting because people still spend ridiculous sums of money. I mean, I, there are casual players. I know casual players who spend hundreds of dollars on this game and it affects the gameplay really in no way. I mean, honestly, everything on there is cosmetic, so it leads you to wonder why are people doing this? First, I want to talk about why people actually buy cosmetic items to begin with, um, because this is, you know, obviously if you look at it completely pragmatically, if you look at it in a completely, you know, reasonable uh, scenario in a perfect world, why would anybody buy anything that's just cosmetic i mean if you're just playing the game for the game assuming that the gameplay itself is all that is bringing you to it there's no reason because the gameplay is no different whether or not you have a certain skin on or if you you know do a certain gesture um your ability to play the game and your ability to do well is unaffected by the cosmetics and yet people still spend hundreds of dollars if not thousands uh, of dollars on these on these digital items and you know again if Fortnite isn't around in five years then all of this stuff is temporary even this is disposable right uh, because if you if you go and buy a book or if you go even if you buy a, a game that's on a disc you at least have that game physically as long as you take care of it as long as it's in working condition you have it for essentially ever until the heat death of the universe or the planet explodes or we get nuked or something you have it as long as as long as it's in good condition whereas when you're spending you know let's say twenty dollars on a an epic or legendary skin in fortnite uh, that skin only provides you benefits so long as you play Fortnite or so long as Fortnite is actually uh, around. So if Fortnite, if Epic Games, you know, goes bankrupt or they shut the servers down because it's 10 years from now and no one's playing Fortnite, you actually can't get that ever again. You can't go and look at your skin because the game will be shut down. Um, so one thing that's interesting is that people are spending all this money on not only cosmetic items, but, but temporary items, things that they don't tangibly feel. They can't actually experience it uh, 10 years from now. I mean, maybe Fortnite will be around 10 years now, but you know, I doubt it, but we'll see. Um, so, you know, that brings me to the question of why do people do this? Why do people spend all this money on strictly cosmetic items that are temporary that they don't that they only get enjoyment uh out of in the moment and the primary reason is actually um it's more of like a, a social psychology type of thing where you want to stand out amongst the crowd right so you want to actually be able to customize your character you don't want to look like everybody else in the game people have this innate desire to actually you know express themselves which is why people do pretty much anything I mean that's why you pick certain clothes that you pick that's why you get certain tattoos or get a certain hairstyle or whatever the case might be um that's why you do it because people want to be unique they want to express themselves in their own way and they want to be different or at least feel different from whatever norm or whatever however they've grown up maybe um there's all sorts of ways so the first way is obviously people want to be different so if they you know if they have a new skin or if there's a new skin that comes out or one that they really like you know some people might really like the bright bomber for instance because they think it's funny or it's cool or whatever whereas other people might want to you know rock uh, the nightlight one or the fucking fish tank one i don't know there's all sorts of different ones but you know some people just connect with certain uh with certain skins so in a game where everybody could look the same human nature just makes us want to not look the same that way we stand out and express ourselves and you know it's just it actually adds to the to the 
experience being able to look how you want there's also the bragging rights uh obviously you know if you have a huge collection of skins and you have all these rare skins that maybe you know people can't get anymore or they you know don't have uh, but they really want you know you have this collection of all sorts of skins amongst your friends where oh he has you know yeah 10 legendary or 20 legendary uh, uh skins or you know he has these certain dance dances and gestures and things like that um and it makes you you know feel cool i guess is is to use like a really cheesy word um you know you're you're the cool person who has all the skins right and that's another thing people want to elevate their own status and i know that that sounds like ridiculous to be talking about in a video about fortnite um but that is actually a a subconscious primitive psychological notion in humans where we you know we want to either feel better about ourselves or we want to have other people think higher of us and you know collecting legendary skins is is a I guess a spin-off of that psychology where you know in a game where if you and all of your friends are playing in that social circle you want to you know stand out not only express yourself but you want to be the one who has the the coolest skin or the newest skin or you know whatever the case might be that is again that is primitive that is uh hardwired into our brains and uh pr pretty much everybody feels that way in some capacity or another obviously some people feel that more strongly about that than others or you know some people uh can logically ignore it or whatever the case might be but in general most people want to stand out and they want to have the latest greatest coolest uh thing whether we're talking about fortnite or iphones or you know cars whatever the case is um you're going to enter into, into a scenario where you know you find that you may want the latest greatest thing in that specific niche or that specific uh genre or, or hobby or whatever you might call it uh, and it's the same kind of reason why people collect certain you know pop vinyls or whatever the case is people will pay a thousand dollars for a shiny charizard pokemon card or they'll pay a thousand dollars for a pop vinyl just because it's a different color or it's a misprint or whatever the case is because they want to be able to say hey i have the only one of this in the world or you know there's only a hundred of these in the world or whatever the case is so again that's another reason why people are spending all this money on just strictly cosmetic things and with that being said we're going to be talking about the title of the video and the whole point of this video finally we're like seven minutes into the video we're finally getting to the topic and that is the the business practices of fortnite being not consumer friendly and i think it's pretty obvious at this point what i'm going to be talking about right now and that is the shop mechanics of fortnite you know what they could do right and this is totally possible uh because games like league of legends do this and it's you know it's very simple if you had you know let's say there's a hundred different skins in fortnite there's no reason why fortnite couldn't implement a shop feature where you just go in and there's all the skins available for everyone to purchase right and, and you might you know you might think like hey why don't they do that that would make them so much more money because you know let's say they implement that feature right the day that that goes live sales sales are going to skyrocket because everybody's going to be able to buy this skin that they want um and you know you might be thinking well what why don't they do that like it doesn't make any sense why are they gating things behind time walls and the reason is because it causes a uh, scarcity and also the fear of missing out which or FOMO whatever you want to call it um, and those are very very powerful psychological triggers that cause people to spend money irrationally um, and, and like I said you know it would be super feasible very easy for them to do and for in the, in the short run they would make a ton of money because you could log in and you know now all of a sudden all the skins are available and that one skin that you've been waiting for to come back in the shop which you haven't gotten because it's been months and you haven't seen it now you can buy it and now you're cool with spending 20 bucks because you've been waiting for this skin to come out or again maybe there's two three four skins that you've been looking for now you spend 60 80 100 dollars just because they implemented an open shop policy um but in the long run they're not going to do that if they gate things behind time walls right and typically you have a day or two to purchase a specific uh skin or you know different pickaxe or a dance move or something like that before it disappears from the shop and then you have to wait for it to come back so if there's a specific skin that you're looking for you can't just go out and buy it you have to wait for it to come back into the shop so whereas you know if the shop was open all, all at all times and you could always buy whatever skin you wanted you would just go and buy that skin and you'd be comfortable with it and then maybe you know a month or two later you go and buy a different skin or whatever the case is 
in the way that they have it set up now there is again the fear of missing out and also the scarcity principle where you if you see a skin that you kind of like or you see a skin that may be rare or you know let's say that the skin came out back in march and you know you see it in this shop now and it hasn't been in the shop since then you might think to yourself oh my god i should buy this skin because it it's it's rare right like this skin hasn't been in the shop since march so of course it's rare i should buy it even if you don't necessarily like how the skin looks you may spend that money so in the time of you waiting for that skin that you actually like you end up spending money on skins that you kind of like or skins that you think are rare or worth their money because they're rare and they haven't been in the shop or whatever the case is so over time uh you actually end up spending more money on skins even though you, you might not even have the skin skin that you want because it hasn't been in the shop yet uh and this is you know traditionally this is not friendly for the consumer right because like i said there's no reason there's no they, we're talking about digital goods so it's not like they can't produce enough of these skins to have an open market uh they can They're, it's digital all you do is spend money and boom your character looks a certain way so there's no reason why they can't just have an open marketplace and, and instead they choose not to and they they choose not to because they know that they can actually make more money off of people by uh giving them the the scarcity principle where people say okay i have 24 hours to decide if i want to buy the skin and i don't know when it's going to come back right and that's another thing like if there was a rotation of skins that was predictable and it was on a schedule that would be a different story you know they could do that but they don't because they want it a mystery they want you to think damn when am i going to be able to get this skin again it may not be for months it may not be for six months it may not be ever you may not you know certain holiday events you know um the easter bunny outfit you know there was uh, a couple of halloween outfits that came out last year you know i don't think some of those have been in the shop since and this is we're talking six to twelve months uh, away from the, their initial drop and they still haven't been back so you know they could you know epic games could easily just say you know what we're done with that skin that skin is forever locked um to people who have bought it and that leads to moving forward people are gonna say okay should i buy the skin it may literally never come back so even if you really don't kind of want the skin or you don't really care you having the status and the prestige amongst your friend group and amongst people that you're playing against of saying hey i have the skin that not that many people have you know because again a year ago when this game just came out or battle royale just came out uh, people were buying these skins and you know you having these skins that haven't been in the shop since then you are seen as like an early adopter or i was here before so many other people came uh, and that gives you that sense of prestige and that sense of you know stick standing out and and being you know a quote unquote a little bit better than everyone else because you have this special skin that people can't get and they won't ever get ever again um and that's you know that is a business tactic that epic games is, is specifically using in order to boost their sales and again it's not in favor of the consumer they're doing this to make more money off of you they specifically want your money and, and it's, there's really no other way to explain this right like i said you can't say that it's because they can't produce enough or there's a certain coding that they have like no the, the skins are made the skins are on their server it's already done the work has been finished they're just specifically locking them behind a time wall an uncertain time wall mind you like we don't know when this skin may come back if ever so it's that uncertainty principle and the scarcity principle working hand in hand and you not wanting to miss out on the skin that you might want later down the line but now you won't be able to get it later if you don't buy it now and again this is just it's super consumer unfriendly because there's no reason why it should be this way right there's no reason why it should be this way the only reason why it, it it runs the way that it runs is to entice people to spend more money uh and obviously they benefit off of people spending more money and it's working because they're making ridiculous amounts of money just astronomical levels of money you can't even fathom it does not cost very much to make a skin for a designer at epic games it probably takes them a couple days maybe um and the dances you just put a suit on a guy who can dance and you record it that might take a couple of days maybe some coding you know and there's probably a, a team of people who do it. it it only takes a couple of man hours you know they probably every skin probably only cost them like two hundred dollars to make you know just because it costs the developer you know maybe they pay him 50 bucks an hour or something like that like 
maybe a, even if it costs them a thousand dollars an hour or i'm sorry even if it costs them a thousand dollars to make the skin you know that they're making way more than that off of the sales from the skin and then they can lock it behind a paywall and then release it later down the line if they find out then it's popular because of course they are collecting data they're seeing what skins are people using most i guarantee you they're doing that i guarantee in the background they're saying okay what skins are people using the most and then they're reskinning, re you know changing the color palette of a popular skin you know you can look at uh the the panda right they just take that okay that is a really popular skin let's recolor it and shoot it out again and that's even easier they take it takes even less time for them to do that than it is to create a whole new skin uh and that probably sells equally as well if not better because they already know that that type of skin is is ridiculously popular based on data that they have so the whole thing is kind of like a big f you to all the people playing the game it's like a big middle finger saying hey we control the skins uh and it doesn't affect the way that you play the game at all and yet we're still gonna make hundreds of dollars off of you because you don't want to miss out and what's worse is actually a lot of the people that are falling for this are kids with their parents credit cards linked to their playstation network linked to their steam account or well not steam but linked to whatever the ios uh the app store uh google play store right any anything like that i'm sorry i don't think they i don't think fortnite uses the google play store but i wouldn't know because i don't touch android with like a 50 foot pole but anyway um so regardless you know it's kids it's little kids uh that, you know maybe they're five to 15 years old somewhere in there where they don't actually have their own job and yet they still spend money on their parents credit card and this is actually causing a big problem for a lot of these companies especially apple playstation you know uh people are doing chargebacks for these parents are getting you know these credit card bills with hundreds of dollars spent on v bucks because these kids they're too young to know the value of money and they're too young to even see the impact that it has um and they like all they think is okay well my friends have it so you know if their parents can afford it i'm sure my parents can too um it's only 20 bucks like so what it's only 20 dollars but you know for some parents who are raising kids and they only make 15 dollars an hour you know they have they are barely making ends meet as it is and it's causing a lot of kids to spend a lot of money that their parents don't have uh and a lot of these companies you know like um apple specifically they'll do a chargeback for you it, it, you know they'll give you the benefit of the, of the doubt the first time they'll say okay yeah like we understand your kid spent 200 bucks on fortnite obviously that was a mistake he's a child just so you know don't let them do this again because we can't actually we won't do another refund for you like we're warning you now like we will do this for you as a kind gesture the first time but after that you're gonna have to pay for these digital goods because a lot of times you they'll do the refund and the kids get to keep the skins and that obviously just hurts fortnite's bottom line and then fortnite comes after apple and says why did you take our money back and they'll say well it was a little kid and now fortnite in a lot of instances has no way of getting the skin back off of the account um and like as they might they might have a way to do that but there's it happens so often that they just don't have the manpower to do it globally so again it, it's very consumer unfriendly it's uh, it's targeted you know at a young demographic and it's hurting um it's hurting their parents and of course people who just you know spend a lot of money on fortnite who probably shouldn't um and, and again it's just it's not in the best interest of the consumer it's very uh, uh it's very it's deeply rooted in consumerism and uh, anti-consumer psychology and I just figured I'd talk about it in this video because I feel like maybe some guy maybe some of you uh, if you're younger maybe you might not know what's what's actually going on behind the scenes as a as a business for epic games like why are they doing they, why do they have the item shop set up the way it is you know maybe if you've been frustrated before like oh crap I didn't log in yesterday and I missed a cool skin that I wanted and you get pissed off and you think why is it like this now you know this is why that they do it that way um, but if you guys are older and you understand all of this obviously I just want to create a little bit of a, a dialogue maybe in the comment section below you can let me know um how evil on a scale from one to ten do you think epic games is for this um i'd say it's it's pretty it's 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 worse than it looks right because it looks like oh they're just selling skins to kids who cares you could just choose not to buy them um but it's very manipulative when you really get down to the subconscious level and um i i don't know i just i personally really really disagree with it obviously it's consumer unfriendly i am a consumer i would rather there just be an open marketplace um i could i would rather there be a, a free marketplace where you could buy, trade with with friends and stuff like that that would be the most consumer friendly even more consumer friendly than that open up mod support and let us design our own skins for free 
of course they'll never do that but again that is 100 000 possible they could easily do that um no problem with very lim limited um very little resources they would never have to pay a developer to make a skin ever again because you could just go and download it off a website but i'm getting off uh, off the topic ridiculously this is already a very long video so i'm going to end it here thank you guys so much for watching this has been on york i will talk to you guys again soon uh if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up comment down below telling me what you think about epic games business practices of course like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and make sure you hit the uh notification bell that way you know the next time i upload and that's a bit of guys so thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace